Hello everybody, my name is Ord, and welcome back to Ord Narrations. Today we're reading a story about a guy who told a pretty harmless lie at the start of a relationship, and now hates themselves, and they don't know whether they should tell her or not. I, 29 male, met this girl, 29 female, a few weeks ago, and we kind of hit it off. She asked what I do for work early on, and I didn't have a good job at this time, so I made up something kind of vague, related to what I was looking for, and eventually gone about a week after the question came up. Now that I'm starting to get feelings for her, that lie has come back to haunt me. She doesn't know, it won't hurt her to never know, but it's fucking killing me that I did it. But be it, if it's, I mean, it depends, I guess, what it is, but just, <laughs> just tell her, and be like, you know, to be honest, if you got the job within, like, a week of telling her the lie, whatever, just tell her. Let's carry on. I didn't want to lose the chance I had with her because I didn't have a good paying job. Working 26 hours a week, I thought she'd just brush me off. So I made up something that seemed harmless. It wasn't like I wasn't working or looking for something better that I got, but the fact remains I lied. Now, as far as she knows, I've been there for a while, but it's only been a week and a half in reality. Do I tell her or do I just let this eat away at me and I hope it goes away since technically it hurts no one? But there's a possibility it comes out later in the relationship if things work out. I mean, shit, I know a lot of people that will tell small lies in relationships at the start, but I've never been in a serious one with someone before, and this is kind of getting serious. I don't want her to wonder if she can trust anything I say or not, as when it comes to everything else, I've been entirely honest. I've been on several dates with her. The feelings are coming in strong on both sides, and all the while, I feel like a piece of shit. I'm just at a fucking loss. Uh, to be honest, OP, so just explain the situation and just be frank about it and be like, you know, I, I wanted to impress you. I didn't want to be embarrassed about my job at the time or anything like that. And and just explain like you had the job lined up and that you got it. To be honest, if she's a good person, she will be like, yeah, it's funny. Like, it'll probably come across quite endearing that you kind of like told a little fib to, to try and impress her. Do you think, you know, <laughs> some women like that shit. TLDR. They lied about something harmless, and now they're hating themselves for it. Someone's left a comment saying, Just explain the situation like you did here. You wanted to impress her, and so you exaggerated. People do it all the time. It isn't like this is a lie you've kept up for years. It's within a reasonable amount of time to clarify. 100%. Honestly, the conversation that ensues from telling her could be a good indicator of how well you two can communicate and navigate difficult subjects in the future. Is she willing to be understanding and sympathetic and have a mature conversation about how it makes her feel? Or would she take any sort of issue personally and dive bomb the relationship? Recall on whether you decide to tell her. I think what they say there is, is very true. That this would be quite a good litmus test. Someone's left a comment saying, Transparency and vulnerability are, are a good start to any relationship if you're thinking about getting serious. It shows who you are, but it'll also show you who she is too. If you admit to her exactly what you did here, you were afraid to make a bad impression, and so you said you already had this kind of job when in actuality you were still working towards it. No decent, mature person would flip their shit at that, or suddenly deem you unworthy. If anything, I think it's kind of cute, for however much a random 33-year-old woman's opinion is worth. Her reaction will tell you a lot about her, and whether or not she'd be good for you. Which is a scary thing to find out, no doubt, if you're starting to like her. But better to find out sooner rather than later. Completely agree. This is exactly what I meant. Like, it's kind of cute in a weird way that you you kind of feel like, I want to impress her. I want to impress her. OP replies with, yeah, so I went back and looked at the exact wording of it because it was in text format. It took me a while to find, and I said I was something else, which I've done before, so not technically a lie. Though in that moment, I was not that thing. Now, new job that I've not mentioned is new, nor how long I've been here, like, I thought I did. Wow, that sentence is a mess. As I simply stated I'd done the job I said for a few years, but didn't say anything about this new place I'm at, or that I'd just spent the last few days on training, and so my hours don't line up with what I've actually told they're supposed to be. But she knows what they're going to be once I'm fully on. Without knowing that, I'm not fully on yet. This is a problem because I've been texting her a lot during the training, and it looks like I get a lot of downtime to respond. But I won't actually be getting nearly that much. Then again, she also believes I was texting her from my other job um, I said I was doing and doesn't even know I have a new one, part of the original problem. I've been overthinking this whole thing for a few hours now, and the details have become fuzzy. Going back and reading it, I can clearly see what I said and what she said, though. I've made a fucking mess, and for what? I feel so goddamn stupid right now. 
<laughs> OP, it sounds like you're making a mountain out of this molehill. Just go and clarify that you wanted to impress her, and that, you know, you told her, I guess, no, it's not really a white lie, but you exaggerated the truth. Someone replied to OP saying, I agree with the original commenter. There's something endearing about the fact that you wanted to impress her. You were working towards that job, and now you're doing it. She should be absolutely fine with it. And if she isn't, maybe that's not a person you want in your life anyway. 100%. Someone else has left a comment saying, I actually don't think this is a big deal at all. It wasn't true two weeks ago, but now it is. So my feeling is no harm, no foul. OP replied to this saying, See, that's what I had convinced myself before, but today when I realized I was falling for her hard, I felt like such a shitbag. I knew it wasn't true, but was going to be true, I just went with it. But uh, see my response to the previous comment? You can see what a dumbass I am. Someone else replies to this saying, I think you're majorly overthinking this, buddy. <laughs> I've been in a years long relationships without really ever knowing exactly what my significant other did or what that job title. So it's not something I'm super focused on. So either come clean or let her know that you've got a new job or a promotion. That might be a good, <laughs> another white lie to plaster over the top. It's so early on that you don't owe someone the exact details of your life. It's pretty standard to elide certain things on early dates when you don't want to get bogged down in the boring details. You were still interviewing and you didn't want to jinx it or you'd been extended an offer but hadn't accepted it or you'd accepted an offer and hadn't started yet. There's a lot of fuzzy background noise that gets tuned out. Just do whatever will make you stop thinking about this. OP says, yeah, I think you're right. I haven't had a relationship in so long I'm considering all the ways I could fuck up a good thing. And you're right, I don't owe the exact details. Just as she doesn't have to tell me every little thing that goes on at her job with her friends. It's not my concern. Having had time to think about it and reading these posts and the fact that she never asks anything about my work outside of seemingly just trying to figure out if I had a job or not at the start, it's definitely just me blowing it out of proportion. I completely agree, OP. Someone else has left a comment saying, Reading your initial post, I thought this was really no big deal. If you told her, she probably wouldn't mind. But if you didn't tell her, it would be highly unlikely she would ever find out that, technically, there was a weak gap in between when you said you were X and when you were actually employed as X. Then I saw a clarification post from you, and it seems a little less clear-cut. I do think the exact wording of the line matters in terms of how weird it was or how likely it is to come off as endearing. Unfortunately, your post was hard to understand in that regard. Ultimately, though, perhaps it doesn't matter. The word of the lie, the worse she'd take it, but the likelier it would be to come out, to bother you over time. And the most important thing overall would be to fess up to it early on. I think I'd agree with that. I do agree with the like, clarification post, if anything, just muddied everything. <laughs> because the phrasing, the wording is terrible. Anyway. So... Like I said, OP, I would just tell her, just clarify it. Just if it's bothering you, just make it transparent and just say, you know, I wanted to impress you and she'll probably take it as a compliment, if anything. And if she doesn't, yeah, get out of there. So what do you think OP should do? What would you do in OP's shoes? Let me know in the comments. Alrighty. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.